Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about the design and simulation of two switch forward converter in Altus Spice, and I'll explain how this circuit works and later I'll run the simulation and show you the different voltage and current waveforms. So I'm not going to answer here why do we need two switch forward converter you can just google it and you can find the answer of why do we need the two switch forward converter it's a homework for you right so let us understand first how this circuit works and if you go and see the basic circuit diagram of two switch forward converter okay and it says that a two switch forward regulator converts an input voltage to higher or lower positive or negative output voltage level the energy is transferred to the output when fits are conducting this is very good application note you can go and find in the texas instrument website ti.com slash power topology here we have two mosfet mosfet q2 and mosfet q1 and we have two diode free wheeling diode diode d3 and diode d4 and if you look at this point this is the primary winding of the transformer connected between the source of q2 and the drain of q1 right and if you look at the secondary winding this is the secondary winding of the transformer and then we have the free rectifier diode d1 then free wheeling diode d2 and the output low pass filter l1 and c0 okay so this is the basic circuit diagram of two switch flyback converter and if you look at in my design i have done the same okay and uh, let me start from the input i'm using the 325 volt peak and with the 50 hertz frequency the peak amplitude is 325 volt and the 50 hertz and if you look at this this is the bridge rectifier and uh, at the same thing i have done here we have two mosfet m1 and m2 and the source of m1 between the source of m1 and the drain of m2 uh, you can see we have connected the primary winding of the transformer then again we have d2 and d8 to to freewheeling diode if you look at the output and this is the secondary winding of the transformer then we have rectifier diode d7 d1 is the freewheeling diode and l1 and c1 forms the low pass filter and r1 is the load okay and uh, if you look at the design the rms voltage is 230 volt and if you look at the output it's 24 volt output at 24 ampere that is 580 watt designing we are doing using two switch forward converter if you look at the driving of this this MOSFET M1 and M2. MOSFET M1 needs high side driver uh, while MOSFET M2 needs the low side driver. So what I have done here is for in spite of using any high side or low side driver I see I, be, I have used two voltage source wherein I am generating the the high side signal and the low side signal if you look at v1 we have hsd that means high side driver it is connected to this gate of m1 and if you look at this point this is p vp and this is connected to the source of m1 so this is the high side driver and this is the low side driver in the low side driver if you look at this net this is connected to the gate of m2 here and uh, the other end is connected to the ground and if you look at the property of this both high side and gauge uh, low side driver i'm using 18 volt to drive this mosfet and then the rise time is 20 nanosecond fall time is 20 nanosecond and t on is 4 microsecond and t period is 12.5 microsecond that means i am driving the mosfet somewhere the frequency of 80 kilohertz and if you look at the same uh, low side driver it is just a replica of high side driver okay what does it mean that that means your mosfet during the during the on time of t on time of your switching cycle your mosfet m1 and m2 are conducting together okay okay mosfet m1 or m2 are conducting together and diode d2 and da8 are off and it will transfer the energy at the same time 
when the MOSFET M1 and M2 are conducting okay since this is the forward converter it is it, it transfer the energy at the on time okay and during the off time when MOSFET M1 and M2 are off so this the voltage across this primary winding uh, of transformer free wheels to diode D2 and D8 okay and at that point of time this the an inductor L1 the energy stored in the inductor L1 transferred to the load and this diode diode D1 is now turned on and D7 is off so during off time of M1 and M2 diode D2 and D8 are on they free wheels the energy of the primary winding and since diode D7 is off D1 is on that is how this circuit works now I'm gonna show you the different voltage and current waveform so so go ahead simulate edit simulation command maybe its stop time is very high let us use the stop time is 10 millisecond and let us see here what happens okay so I'm gonna just run the simulation and show you the different voltage and waveform if you look at this point this is your input signal so this is your ac input signal okay so this is the 10 millisecond i have to increase the transient time let us increase for the moment 20 millisecond so that you can see at least one pulse so this is your 20 millisecond pulse and then let me show you the peak voltage here which is appearing across the capacitor okay so your simulation is still running let's get it done right so this is your 20 millisecond pulse and wherein you see your peak amplitude is around 3 here you see it's around 325 okay this is minus 325 and if you look at the peak voltage also it's somewhere around 325 okay so <clears throat> so this is the voltage across the source our input and the voltage across the C2 if you look at the voltage across the primary winding here and if you look at the voltage across the primary winding here it's as similar as you can see here it's high value it's a 250 around and you can see it's zero the similar voltage waveform you see here guys and let me show you the voltage across the secondary winding I have shown to you and this is the inductor voltage i'm not sure yes they have given the voltage across the switch so now let me show you the voltage across the switch here if you look at these things let me delete for the primary voltage and if you look at this it is high then it is a 0 0.5 times of input and if you look at this this is the zero and if you look at this waveform given in the texas instrument it's a v maximum then somewhere you see half of the voltage of v maximum then it is coming to the zero so this is the voltage across the switch and uh, let me show you the this is what let me show you the freewheeling diode current and this is the demagnet demagnetization diode current d3 and d4 they have given let me show you here real quick so let me delete this so that you can see properly okay and okay so if you look at this board diode id1 and id8 are conducting at the same time if you look at and this is the this is the current waveform you see here and the same current waveform you see in your texas instrument texas instrument application nodes so this is the voltage waveform of your your diode freewheeling diode current and now I have already shown you the secondary voltage let me show you again for one more time and this I want to delete this this I want to delete this so that is how it looks like let me show you here the voltage across the secondary winding of the transformer this is the transformer secondary winding and that is how it looks like you can see the same voltage we are we can see here in the simulation right so <clears throat> now let me show you the inductor current here so if you click on here you can see the inductor current let me delete this voltage source that is how if you look at this this is that is how your inductor current looks like let me finally show you the output voltage and the output current okay so let me delete this inductor current so this is your output voltage let me increase some cycle here 
okay spite of using 20 millisecond for now let me use 100 millisecond okay so let me do that and let me show you the output voltage as well so here your simulation is running let's see how much time it takes but if you look at the application note of texas instrument you can see the secondary side uh, secondary winding voltage waveform it's same as what we are getting you can see the inductor current waveform in the ccm mode that is what we are also getting and uh, this is the voltage across the fit you see v maximum and 0 0.5 times of v maximum that is what we see also there and uh, this uh, this we have already seen the demagnetization diode demagnetization of the diode i have shown to you the diode the current you can also check the diode voltage there's no problem so let us see how much output voltage and current you see we have the lots of ripple at the output okay there's lots of ripple if you look at this okay so but if i zoom in if you see the the output voltage is around 24 volt and if you look at here because both voltage output voltage and output current waveform are overlapping each other is 24.56 amps so hope guys you have understood the design and simulation of two switch forward converter how you design the two switch forward converter in lt spice and how you run the simulation and how you can see the different voltage and current waveform and how how you can compare with the actual application note given by the texas instrument okay so i would say thanks for watching this video if you have any further question on two switch flyback converter feel free to ask me in comment section